Welcome back to Logarithmic Classic and a short update on my 1966 Jaguar S-Type. For those of you who are new to my channel, I highly recommend that you check out the video where I introduced the car. It's a two-part video where I show all the good parts and the bad parts. It is a true barn find, it's been sitting for over 40 years. Um, and as some of you know, it's missing something big. It's missing its gearbox. Uh, a couple weeks ago, I went on a road trip with my friend Jacob and we picked up a bunch of things, among others, a uh, gearbox for the car. And I never really had a chance to show you the gearbox. I didn't really have a chance to film when we were picking it up. So I thought I'd just make a quick update where I'll show you the gearbox. Here's a gearbox I decided to pick up. It's a BorgWarner BW12, which came out of an early XJ6. So a, um, about a 1972, I believe. It's, um, the reason I went with this gearbox is, well, the original one's missing, and the uh, original gearbox in these cars is a uh, Borg Warner DG250, I believe they're called, and they're not really famous for being all that great. They tend to leak a lot and be really difficult to rebuild. Also, I went with this gearbox because I believe it will be pretty easy to fit. The bell housing has the same bolt pattern and everything else should actually bolt up. It does have the shift linkage on the other side and I need to change that and I believe I have to change the drive shaft but I don't have to uh, change the throttle cable or anything because this is all vacuum operated which is really what I wanted because I could have also gotten a gearbox from a later XJ6, the uh, Borg Warner 65 or 66 but they require a uh, special adapter plate up at the carbs, and I just don't feel like dealing with that. This gearbox also came complete with a few things I was missing. I didn't have a flywheel on that engine at all. I didn't have a torque converter either. I did have a starter motor, but this flywheel comes off a 4.2 liter straight six. I have a 3.8, and the, uh, whatchamacallit, the, um, uh, the gears here, the ring gears on the flywheel, are different for each flywheel and each starter motor. So if you have a 4.2 flywheel, you need a starter motor from a 4.2. I might upgrade this actually to a more modern starter motor. They do make these aftermarket upgrades, high torque starter motors. But I'm going to start with you know tearing this thing apart, seeing if it works, and just go from there. Uh, the torque converter seems to be in pretty good shape as well. It's all filled with fluid. And it's All of this is a lot heavier than you would think it is, this being cast iron. Uh, I'm not completely sure about the condition of the gearbox, to be honest. Um, but it was cheap enough that just getting all the parts uh, was worth it. Also, if it is not working, I could definitely get a rebuild kit for one of these and that would make for a fun video series rebuilding it. But there is fluid inside it. It's been stored inside. Uh, the fluid does look a little dirty, but I'm just going to try and take it apart. And if I see a lot of metal shavings or a lot of uh, metal debris floating around, then I'll consider a rebuild. If not, I'll just check that everything is to spec, uh, change the filter and all the fluid, flush it out and put it in the car and see if it works. In the worst case scenario, if it ends up not working, I guess I'll just have to tear it out and think of a different solution. The only thing that seems a little bit damaged is there's a little bit of a kink right there. And then the top of um, the dipstick is missing, but I do have a couple of spare dipsticks. They're not the right length, but I could possibly take the tops off the other dipsticks and sort of connect them to this one. But that's really a small problem. I could probably also find a complete dipstick and tube for one of these gearbox, as they're pretty common. That's all for the short update on the S-Type. If you like what you saw, please consider subscribing, liking this video, and sharing it with your friends. I'll be back again on Thursday with a new long feature episode. It will be on the XJS V12. Until then, I'm Adam, and this was Living With A Classic Short Takes. See you soon.